All right, everyone, in this video, we are going to install Node Version Manager on Windows, and I have a fresh Windows 11 install, so there's like nothing on here. And so hopefully this will go smoothly. And I'm gonna go to the search, type in command prompt and click on it. And just open your terminal or your command prompt, however you can. And I'm going to type in node-v just to see that we do not have it. If I do npm hyphen v, it is also not recognized. So let's go ahead and install it. I'm going to close that out and I'm going to go back to edge and I'm going to type in nvm, wait, no, node version manager windows. And then there should be a GitHub repository made by Corey Butler and it's nvm hyphen windows. So if we click on this, we can get our node version manager for Windows. It is apparently not the same thing as NVM. So make sure you're using NVM for Windows, the GitHub repository if you're using Windows. So they thankfully do have an installer, so we can just click on this download now button. And then in this versions page, if we scroll down a little bit, we have this NVM hyphen setup exe and I'm I think the best way to do this is to just find the newest one. I don't know, but it also, you know, you, you want the setup, you want the, you may want the exe file. So let's give this a shot. I don't do this very often and the exe files are how you install things. So it seems to make sense for me. So I've clicked nvm hyphen setup.exe, the most recent one. Okay, that is downloaded, so let's go to our downloads folder now. If I click here in the file manager, downloads, nvm hyphen setup. So let's double click on that. If you want to allow this app to make changes, I am going to hit yes. I accept, next, and this is where it's going to install it to, fastp slash app data slash roaming slash nvm. That sounds fine for me and this will automatically be added to your system path in node.js. This is so when you type in command, it will work like on the terminal. And click install to continue with the installation. Install. Crossing our fingers. Okay, completing the NVM wizard. Let's hit finish. Okay, and now let's go back to the command prompt. Click on it node hyphen v ah node is not recognized maybe that's because it hasn't been installed so let's see let's see nvm current no current version run nvm use so the reason this works is because this nvm was installed onto our pro onto our computer and then there was it was added to the path so the computer can find this program that we just installed. So when we run NVM, it will work. So let's try NVM and let's go to check out the current node version. So I'm gonna type in node.js and I'll click on node.js.org and we'll see 16.17 is recommended for most users. And so let's do 16.17. So I'm gonna go back to the command prompt and then I'm gonna type in nvm use 16.17. And I think I have to install it first. Unrecognized version. Okay, so let's try nvm install 16.17. Okay, that did not look like it worked. Unrecognized version 16.17. So let's try just NVM 16 then. NVM install 16. There we go. Okay, so I guess, I don't know if there's a way to choose like the the patch versions and all of that, but it is working apparently. So let's go back to the GitHub repository. It does show us how to use this package. So if we scroll down, 
there's an example here, NVM use, NVM install, and then here's the usage instructions. Okay, so NVM, if you want to use this version, type NVM use 16.17.0. NVM use 16.17.0. Access is denied. Interesting. Maybe we need to run it as administrator. Because that is usually what happens when there are permission issues. I don't remember having to do that. So I'll verify that this is an okay thing, but let's just assume that it is. Oops. And what I want to do is you want to, when you're doing the search, you want to right click on it, run as administrator, and yes, NVM, was it use? NVM use 16.17.0. Now using node 16.17.0. Maybe there's a quick answer here. So if I'm on this GitHub page, I'm gonna do a control find for admin. Admin it. So let's take a look at those. Okay, yep, yep. Usage NVM Windows runs in an admin shell. You'll need to start PowerShell or command prompt as an administrator to use NVM Windows. So that does make sense. So now we're using 16.17. So if I run node hyphen V, I should get V version 16.17. And I'm curious about the node package manager version, 8.15. And I don't think this really matters. I think what really matters is the node. So I may have to do an update to this video, but I think we are good to go. So this is how you install node in Windows 11. And it's highly recommended that you use the version manager because you may have different projects in different versions. So like your, your work project may be different than your side project. And then if you start a side project six months later and the node version is out of date, you know, you'll want to be able to switch node versions uh, as needed. So NVM for Windows, this is how you do it. Okay, one more thing I want to do is make sure that Node and NPM actually work. So let's give it a, a try by running a Hello World application. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Microsoft Edge. I'm going to type in, well, I already did it off screen, but let's type in ExpressJS. And then there should be ExpressJS.com. And then there's a Getting Started Guide. So if we click on the getting started guide, it should take us to like an installation page. So what we're going to do is create a project. And so I'm going to go back to my search bar, hit the command prompt, and then just wherever it takes me, I'm going to make a folder. So I'm going to say mkdir to make a folder, and I'm going to call it hello express. Enter, and then if I dir, we can see hello express cd hello express to go into it. And then let's open up. This is a, this is an empty, empty project. No, there's nothing in it. So if we click our our file manager, or actually, if we want to open it in a text editor, I don't care how you open it, but you want to open up that pulp folder in your text editor. And so what I need to do is I need to go to open folder, and then navigate to the location of that folder. So we're going to go to C drive, and you can actually see the direction or where it's located by looking here. So users, a fast P, hello express. So if I go here and select the folder, C drive, users, fast P, hello express. So I'll double click on that and then select folder. So now we've got hello express opened here. So now, if I, now I want to start the project. And so you do that by running npm hyphen, oh, npm init hyphen y for yes, which means yes to all. So I'm going to hit enter. And this created a package.json file for us. So now if we go to our text editor, we can see this new package.json file. So now we can... Now we have the beginnings of our project. So if I run 
Okay, well, they just did it without running the hyphen Y, but we want to install a package. So there's like little modules or little, think of them as like Legos, I guess, or Lego. So Express is a package that we can use to make our lives easier. So let's go ahead and install it into the project. And so in the Hello Express folder, I'm going to run npm install express. Enter. It's going to run some stuff. And now if we look at our text editor, we have a node modules, which has all the stuff that express is, you know, that is made of express, that makes express. If we look at our package.json, we see a dependency. So this project relies on the express package. Okay, so we are good to go. And then let's go back to our Express.js web page and we can make our Hello World application. So if I click on that, we can just basically copy and paste this code here. Control C. Oh, and then I'm going to put it in an index.js file. So inside this Hello Express, we want to make a new file. And I'm going to paste all the code here and then control S to save as index.js. Save. Okay, and so now we have our index.js file here. And you'll notice it's not in the node modules, it's in the Express, in the Hello Express folder. So this is the code that's going to get run. So let's go ahead and start the project. And so we run it with node app.js. So node app.js. Enter. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Not node app.js, but the node and then the name of the file. So our file is called index.js. So we're going to run node index.js. Enter. And it says, example listening on port 3000. We can allow access. And so now let's go to localhost 3000 in our web browser. So new tab, localhost colon 3000. Enter, and we get hello world. So that's good. We have a running node app, and we've verified that node.js and npm work on our machine. So we're good to go, and that's the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe to our channel and click the bell to be notified when we release new tutorials. Also, be sure to like the video and leave a comment to let us know what you think. Lastly, check out the link or links in the description. We usually create a blog post to go with the tutorial, and we might have a newsletter or course or something to check out as well. Have a good day, and I'll see you next time.